Hi guys! So today I am doing my um, next look in the Disney collaboration with Veronica, the Beauty with the 1987. Um, this week we are doing The Lion King. And I have to say The Lion King is my all-time favorite Disney movie ever. Like, number one best movie ever best Disney movie. It's just, it gives you so many feels and you're just like, holy crap, I can relate to so many different parts of it. Um, so I decided to kind of take two parts and put them together as one. Um, my character is Simba, of course, the main character, but I also wanted to kind of bring in the iconic opening scene where Simba is being shown to the rest of the pride and you know that that iconic scene that everyone knows and um so not only do the colors represent his fur um it also represents the sunset sunrise aspect of that movie because it was so beautiful and very colorful and I really wanted to kind of bring both of those into the look so um yeah so I have a kind of a gold orange brown smoky eye with a bright pink lip you do not have to do the bright pink lip um if you just want to do the smoky eyes that's awesome um I just really wanted to kind of bring in the sunset kind of look um, into everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Enough blabbing. Um, and check out Veronica's, which will be linked at the end of the video and down below. And enjoy. Alright, so I already applied a primer all over my lid and I just used my Mary Kay Eyelid Primer, which is really good for if you're using loose pigments because it has a really nice kind of tacky feel to it. Now I'm going to use um, Blank Canvas Primer Base from Corpse Cosmetics and I'm just patting it all over my lid just so that the colors really really pop and are extra vibrant. So the first color I'm going to use is a, one of the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigment. And this is in Wild Gold. And it's a really, really pretty gold. Um, it's not too bold to, so it's not like, so, you know, you can't wear it every day. It's a great everyday eyeshadow color, so highly recommend it. And I'm just going to apply it on the inner third of my lid. I'm using an angled brush because it's easier for me to get into the kind of corners of my eyes because my eyes are um, a little bit offset and um, of course I have hooded lids and yeah it just helps <laughs> next I'm going to use a palette that I have not used much um, for tutorials but I love this palette for everyday looks and it is the Wet n Wild Fergie um, Center Stage Collection eyeshadow in uh, Desert Festival and I'm going to be using most of these colors today. I'm going to start off with this really nice muted mid-tone orange and a fluffy brush and just kind of apply that on the center of the lid. I like applying this with a fluffy brush because not only does it apply really well but it also blends out at the same time. And this is the Sedona Lace EB09 brush if you're wondering. I really love Sedona Lace brushes. Like they've quickly become my favorite and I don't even use my MAC or my Sigma ones anymore. So I'm just blending that on the top. 
And then for the outer portion, I'm going to use this dark shimmery brown, which I love. And of course, another Sedona Lace brush in EB15. It's a really nice pointed fluffy brush and it's great for the outer corner and into the crease. And then I'm going to take this kind of muted tan and just apply it as a highlight all over. It has a slight shimmer to it, but it's nothing too dramatic since the eyes are pretty dark. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline and my lower lash line. I'm just using the Fergie Wet n Wild liner in Midnight Girl, I believe. Yeah. And I'm not going to go all the way in on the lower lash line um, just because I still want some of that gold to pop. And then I'm going in with the matte brown in the center and kind of smoke out that black. and I bring it up a little bit so that way I have kind of a guideline for my wet for my my wet um for my gel liner and you don't have to have it as smoky as I do but I really wanted it to be kind of a smoky cat eye if you will um for obvious reasons and for my gel liner today, I'm using the Sephora Rio Nights Waterproof Gel Liner. And this is the black one, and I am in love with this. Oh my god. So nice. And I'm using a Sedona Lace EB19. It's a angled eyeliner brush, which has, of course, become a very fast favorite. And I'm starting from the outer part of my lower lash line going kind of straight out and then start on the inner part and kind of connect all of it. And I did a really, really thick wing for my cat eye. And time for mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Flamed Up Mega Curl Mascara. And that is it for the eyes. Okay, and for the lips, I am going to be using a pink toned lip product um, because I kind of wanted to incorporate not only the colors um, 
of Simba's fur, but as well as the iconic sunset, uh, sunrise that everybody knows from the movie. So not only do, do the oranges and the gold and the brown represent Simba himself, but it also represents the iconic, um, opening to the movie and that everybody knows and so yeah I'm using the OCC stain gloss uh, test tube and this is in new wave um, And that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and definitely check out Veronica's The Lion King Inspire book. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and I'll talk to all of you later. Bye!